Hi all, I am Nikesh Kuril and welcome to our channel ML4 Analytics. In this lecture, we will be studying about partition sort or the partial sort in NumPy. And why, what I mean by partial sort or the partition sort, I will be coming to that. First of all, let's understand a problem what we want to solve over here. Like if you are given an array of let's say 10 digits and if you want to get only the five smallest values or the three or four smallest values of that array then you don't need to sort the complete array you just want that those four or five smallest values of that array right so that is what we are going to do over here we will not be sorting the complete array we will only be getting the, those four or five smallest values out of complete array so let's dive into this article and understand what is going over here and if you are interested in understanding different techniques of sorting in NumPy, please do go through uh, other articles like like sort, indirect sort in NumPy or sort arrays in NumPy. So that will be helping you a lot, creating a pretty good base for you. So let's understand the partition sort in NumPy. And first of all comes its syntax that is first space array that we want to sort or we can say from which we want to extract the smallest values. Second is the position or you can say how many elements from the complete array you want to extract from the main array or the n number of smallest values that you want to extract from over here. Then comes the axis. Default value is minus one. That corresponds to the last axis of the array. And if you want to define the axis, for two dimensional array or multiple dimensional arrays, you can define them like 0, 1, and so on, depending upon uh, which position you want to sort the array. And then comes the kind. Uh, kind helps us choosing that which sorting array we want to use. The default value is intro select. Then comes the order. And for order, it's like if we are providing a structured array, then this argument specifies that this feed fields to compare first and second to sort the array and so on and it is very rare where this order is being used so we will not be using that anywhere else in this art in this lecture now first of all let's begin with creating an array for us so this is our jumbled array and if i want like uh, first four elements or the first four smallest elements from this array so the thing I will be like putting post or the position equals to 3. So the thing over here is like this position specifies index value in the array. If I'm specifying like position 3, so it will be containing 4 elements because index value starts to sort the 0. So just remember that for the by adding position 3, I will be saying get me all the smallest elements till position 3 though it will be searching the complete array for those small, smallest elements but those smallest values will be written in the first four positions of the array and all the other values will be written afterwards after that so what I mean by that let's understand it with this example let's run this one and as you can see this was a complete array and if I talk about the first four smallest values, those are 0, 1, 2 and 3. And as you can see, what I have got over here is 2, 1, 0, 3. You would be saying this is not sorted. Actually, that is not the case. As I said in the very start or the very beginning of this article, we will be doing a partial sort. We wanted to get only the four smallest values so we got those values and other values are not sorted so that's what the beauty of partition sort is it is very fast and it will provide you the n number of smallest values that you want from the complete array but they will not be sorted that is only the drawback of this but that is all that is not a requirement as well as you wanted only the n smallest values now how we can apply this uh, for a two-dimensional array let's see that so this is a two-dimensional array and if i say for from each row i want to get the 
two smallest values so what we will be doing over here is like for the first two smallest values the max position that I required is one because first first position is like this one so it will cover two elements so what I'm doing over here is sending this array then position value equals to one and x is equals to one because I want it to be done across the row not across the columns so if you wanted to do this across the columns you can set the axis value equals to zero otherwise we are proceeding with the rows as you can see for the output for this one the smallest values were zero three for this one this is one and four for this one as well it should be one and four and for this one this should be double four and let's see the answer yes we are getting the same answer zero three one three one four and double four test for the column x column axis as well so it should provide me for two smallest values or the smallest values at the top level of each column and as you can see for this one for first column the smallest values were three five so no change in that for the second there was zero and four and so we get zero and four over here then for the next column it is four and five and we have got four and five and then one and three yes one and three then double four and so on so i think that clears your understanding of the partial sort and so guys that is for this lecture so stay tuned with me and do subscribe for the info analytics and in our next tutorial we will be covering the pandas the key the key element of the data analysis or the machine learning so do uh, do subscribe and learn that as well and please do comment and let me know in case you want to study something special in python i will be covering that topic for you thank you guys have a nice day thank you very much